Hey, how's it going, everybody? We got the next episode of the Guardian Gauntlet. I know it's been a while. Uh, so what's happened is I started having internet issues and I wasn't able to stream. And that was kind of like, I don't know, it was like affecting things because that's like part of my schedule is that I've been, I've been regularly streaming for, for a long time, you know? So not being able to stream because of internet issues kind of threw me off. And then I tried resetting my PC, think, hoping that would fix it. Uh, because I was like not being able to figure out what it was and in resetting my PC I reset a lot of my settings and I eventually sat down to record some some guarding gauntlets and uh, the recordings were corrupted <laughs> so that kind of sucked and then I was like okay whatever fixed the, the that issue then sat down and recorded more episodes and then uh, I went to go look at the footage and my microphone was not picked up in any of those videos so I was like, okay, well, that sucks. And uh, now here I am recording today. So so again, sorry for delay. Definitely shouldn't have taken that long, but I don't know, just like every little roadblock, just a bunch of little roadblocks just made me be like, man, I don't want to deal with this right now. <laughs> All right, we are up against a Neja, which is... Yeah, you don't see it too often, but actually, Neja, pretty good. Pretty good right now. Uh, crit is very good, uh, just in general. I'll probably have to go back troll, maybe double defense. We'll see. Yikes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> well, there goes all my health. I might as well back and pretend I died, because if I stay... Uh, this isn't going to end well for me. But yeah, we got the new Smite UI. It's pretty cool. I, uh... They haven't really reworked the UI in so long. So to have a new, new UI is really, really, really awesome. It looks super clean. Even, like, the kill screen, uh, death recap, the tab screen. Just It all looks super, super clean. There's a lot of customizability options. I'm really happy with it. I guess it's not super new, but uh, it's new enough that it wasn't in my last video. And I know a lot of people uh, sometimes watch, but they might not play Smite anymore. So uh, this seems like a place where I can ult, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to kill him. There we go. All right, cool. That's good. God, Tower Dive. He's going Transcendence. Okay, okay. Oh, he couldn't afford Transcends. Damn, that's rough. Okay. I got Bancrofts. I think we're going to go full cooldown Cthulhu. Uh, maybe with Polly. I don't know. Probably not Book of Thoth. I like Book of Thoth for late game, but man, Cthulhu is... I don't know. Cthulhu lacks a lot when it comes to duel. It's mostly his cooldowns are so just so damn long. And they don't do quite enough damage to be a threat most of the time. Even villains need to watch their back. All right, now he's back in for transcendence. All right. Uh, yep, he has Transcendence. That's fine. I'm full health. I can stay. Although, I'll probably get... I get Breastplate. That's a good counter he has. He can cancel my two every time. Yeah, I could get Breastplate. I don't know if he's if, if he's going to go crit after all. Rebuff just spawned. I can't really contest for it. I would go for my blue, but I mean, look how damn long my cooldowns are. He'll take red and then stop me if I do that. He might still get it, but I actually have a chance of getting there in time if I go. If I recall first. Okay, no, he's not going for it. He's clearing the wave first. 
All right, let's see. I'm going to use all three abilities. Can I take this? Am I one? Nope. <laughs> I used it too late. That's fine. Oh, I tried alting. Whoops. Is that a meditation that he popped? Damn. Oh, all right, let's get out of here. That's so much damage. I, I hate falling behind like this where, where I, I can't secure buffs. He has 26 stacks and transcendence. Damn. Your middle tower is under what even is the scaling on Cthulhu one? 40 damage. I have 100 power. 40% scaling. That's pretty bad. <laughs> That's pretty trash. Like, all three of my abilities hit for nothing, and they're so, so long cooldowns. Oh, nice ult. Not to mention, I have such a big hitbox, man. Let's see if I can get my passive before using my wand. Nope. I've secured one buff this game. All right, let's get breastplate. That should help out a ton with cooldown. Now, what do I want to go from here, though? I don't really have too many grid options. I should maybe go auto attack. I feel like most games I play Cthulhu and I end up losing, I regret not going auto attack because his scaling is kind of not good. The cooldown's great, but auto attack surprisingly nice. Plus, then you can more consistently have the fear on the one ready, which is pretty good. Yeah, I might do that. He's a melee god, too. I think it's a good idea for me. I want this red buff, dude. I don't want to give it up. Oh. I think that's a bad idea for him. I mean, I'm pretty high health here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think he should have went in on that. Trying to fight for the red, sure, but I don't think he needed to fight to, to fight me. Just maybe to try and take the red and then run. <laughs> All right, that's good for me. Okay. Uh, you know, you know what? Go, li go, little Cyclopean. He's building some health. Uh, he still doesn't have second relic, so I do not get second relic because he might get horrific, and I need sprint if he does that. He went pestilence. Okay, okay. But yeah, Cyclopean gives 10% cooldown, so that'll bring me to max cooldown late game with Fire Potion. Yeah, I, I just find that like, most times going Mage Cthulhu, uh, once they got defense, it's like you're still not doing enough to them fast enough. I guess against gods that don't have escapes, the ult is insanely good, like Neja, but still... I keep thinking it's gonna fear because I see the effect on my on him, like the little pink effect, but nope. It's not f the fully stacked. Like there it is. I'm 
All right, let's get Cyclopean. Do I want Demonic? 9% penetration? Oh, I can't afford <laughs> I can't afford Cyclopean. I'm going to wait for it. Or not wait in base, but like that. that is... Oh, he got Thorns. Whoops. Uh, if he got Thorns, I might actually get Horrific. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think that's a good play. <clears throat> Excuse me. Maybe, what was he building now? Executioner? <laughs> or maybe Kin Size? Kin Size Neja? Neja, you could, you could build all, Neja all kinds of ways. You go power, crit, pen, attack speed. He's a pretty fun god to play. I will say. That's his thorns. I could just wait for it. And that's his ult, which is his escape. So now if I ult him, he's not going to have any way out of it. And with the horrific, he can't hit me during my ult, which is cool. Unless, of course, I let him get too close. Whoops. Oh, he's so low. He's so low, I could have killed him. But I can also get ring bounced if I'm not careful. Okay. I still got ring bounced. This is too risky. If I'm taking red, he throws a ring toss and I, I die. All right, better, better to leave. Plus, I could upgrade my Bancrofts into Nimble if this is how I want to build. How much does Cyclopean do? 7% of targets maximum health. Okay, cool. That's quite a bit. But it has a cooldown. We're doing good damage, good damage. He's probably just gonna use his three here, yeah. <laughs> I need to have my beats ready. I thought he was gonna go in there when he activates two. Nope. Uh, if that tower wasn't there, could 100% kill him, but that tower is there. Alright, let me just reset. He did go Kinsize, like, I kind of said it as a joke, because I don't really ever see Kinsize on Nesha, but, I mean, it works. It's good against Guardians. Kinsize is a great item. Alright, let's get our pen online. Pestilence is so good. It's, what is it, 40% anti-heal if they hit you three times? Oh, no, it can stack up to six times. It's 55% anti-heal <laughs> if, if it's fully stacked. Which, you know, I'm already at four stacks right now in this fight. Pestilence is underrated. Oh, I actually stole one. Nice. Okay, I do think auto attack's the way to go. I maybe should have used my one first for the prot shred. I need anti-heal. Look at that healing he had there. Whoops. I do have horrific, but you know, he gets one lucky crit with his his two he still gives a crit, right? He gets luck one lucky crit, it's over for me, so <laughs> I 
I gotta give up a red buff again, man. All right, let's let's get anti heal. Do I want? No, do I want divine or do I want good old fashioned toxic blade? Whoops! I, why is it using my potion when I'm trying to search the shop? What? Okay, whatever. Where's anti heal? I'm not used to this. Okay, I, I <laughs> hold on. Stop opening the T screen. What the heck? All right, where? Let's just find the stupid tree. <laughs> well, I guess that's a new UI bug. Uh, usually, if I'm searching, it shouldn't. Yeah, now it's not doing it. That's that's weird. I lost my tower for that. No, I didn't. Okay, cool. Yeah, usually, if I'm searching for an item, it doesn't bring up the T screen or bring up any of those screens. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, this game. This game is 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 over already. Just just based on how that fight went. <laughs> I die way too fast. I die way too fast. Let's see. It was eight that was eight auto attacks. Oh. Ah. All right, let's get some wards, I guess. I have no way of competing with that damage as of right now. I could, of course, get the good old double defense, but wow, that was insane. That was it. That was insane. I don't... <laughs> oh, well. It's just sometimes the way it is. Him being able to cancel that. I'm dead. I'm genuinely dead. Wow, wow! I was, I was, I was two and zero, oh, and then it basically lost the game once he got that Crusher online. Oh, Crusher has percent pen on it now. I didn't even realize that. Eight percent. Thirty percent of your physical power. Well, at least Toxic Blade. <laughs> I, I mean, I was going to say it gives me more health, but maybe that's not a good thing against his skin size. And if I had a mage build, I would still die as fast, and I would not do nearly as much, like, nearly enough damage, considering how tanky he is. So I don't really regret going the auto attack. Plus, if I kill him, I can actually take something. Big if. Uh, do I go double defense here? I think I have to. I die so fast, it's impossible for me to do enough damage in time. I have to go double defense here. Specifically spectral, because those crits are what was killing me, man. I did kind of want Polly, but that's more for a mage build anyways. Plus, Cyclopean's probably doing more than I think Polly would. Assuming I don't die instantly. It's kind of a overtime damage. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he just wanted to end, huh? Look how fast he is. Can I even catch up to him? Okay. That works for me. I got a kill, but did you see how fast he almost killed me? <laughs> oh my goodness, man. It's absolutely insane. My Titan took a little bit of damage to fire minions, but it's definitely worth it. When I ulted, considering how long it took for me to kill him in my alt, if he had just run at me, I think that would have... He would have just straight up killed me. 
Now, I, I would have been running away as he was running towards me and running towards him as he was running away, but still, uh, I don't think it would have been a good situation for me if he had just decided to turn around. Because I'm not that much tankier in my all. I mean, I, I do get this mitigation down here, but <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I mean, I guess I maybe, maybe, considering I was, I was healed. I definitely needed that kill. That gives me hope. That kill gives me hope. Also, going to defend that Demon King, I don't think it would have worked out because... Oh, he's back toward me. Well, not back toward me, but, you know. Because there was fire minions. Oh, wow. Oh, yes! Got in the fountain in time. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. If I went to go defend that Demon King, uh, there's Fire Minions, they would have killed my Phoenix anyways. Well, I'm still dying too fast. Even with double defense, I'm, I'm dying way too fast. He has dominance. Where my auto, I can't do my auto attack stuff. Call this shot. This is than you. Uh, upgrade horrific maybe. <laughs> oh damn, he's full build, so he doesn't really get much scarier than this, other than three K pop. But oof. I mean, he has a hard time killing Titan, though, because I, I can defend it pretty well. Dude, I don't remember which one's good. <laughs> I don't buy horrific often enough, and I can't. I'm not reading that whole three paragraphs right now. The right one trembles, and the left one I can't remember what it does, but I remember the trembles just kind of sucks. Oh my goodness, I can't believe this has happened so many times where I just barely make it into Fountain. <laughs> Alright, 4 2. 4 2. He's got so close to killing me in Fountain <laughs> three times now. Alright, let's push. I'm so far away, I don't even know if I can get his tower. I was hoping his respawn timer would be a tiny bit longer. All oh, the melee minions didn't group up. That actually really, really sucks. Lost a lot of time for that. Well, is red buff up? Nope, definitely not. So now we're at a standstill once again. I don't think I should recall. I do want to refresh my power potion, but I still got quite a bit of time on it. I, I need to make sure he does, doesn't take Demon King here and that these fire minions don't kill my Phoenix. Oh! Oh, can I get him here? Yes! Oh my goodness! <laughs> that is really, really good. I need to ignore these minions right now and I need to push. What a, what a what an opportunity by taking that demon king. And now my phoenix is going to heal 
Red buffs up. This is so, so good. Five and two. All right, can't take uh, Phoenix, but getting tower plus red buff? Red buff here is so important. Gives me more attack speed with Nimble, too. How many more stacks do I have? I'm at six stacks? Oh, no. Oh, I can't pick it up. <laughs> I'm dumb. All right, that's okay. I get 3k pot and this. I should be able to pick up red buff if I rush straight over there. I'll just barely be able to pick it up. I think I should alt here. Because it was just kind of a scary place to be. I do have my beads. I gotta choose my fights well. I gotta choose my fights carefully. <laughs> oh my god, what? What is that damage? What? 15 auto attacks. I mean, it makes sense, but only those last three autos are probably what killed me. <laughs> I've I keep in mind I have how much physical defense I have. I have 224 physical defense. He has a ton of pen, but it's like, damn. Like, do I just sell my defense at this point? Is he even helping me? Am I just how much more damage am I even gonna take if I don't have it? It's like I'm already being one shot. Uh, GG's, man. That was a good game. That was a great game. I may have lost, but still still a good game. I, I do wish I could have put up more of a fight. I was on defensive for so much of that game, but... I mean, you saw how fast I died with Spectral and, and Breastplate. It's like, damn. That is so fast. I'm a Guardian, too. Got the Guardian scalings. But nope. GG's. I gave it my best. And as with every Guardian Gauntlet, we will now spin the wheel for the next episode. And because I did not win with Cthulhu, uh, Cthulhu will still be on the wheel. So uh, let's go ahead and spin it to see what God will be for the next episode. Oh, Kuzumbo. All right, that sounds fun. All right, so tune in next time for the next Guardian Gauntlet where I will be playing Kuzumbo. All right, see you guys.